This video is brought to you by C1 Models and thescalemodeler.com. Hey guys, back again with a new tutorial and this time it's the heat staining of an exhaust. Now first off I painted the exhaust parts that were molded in, uh, in some silver from Vallejo, uh, nothing special but just easily obtainable for a lot of you guys and you will see me using this stuff a lot more in the future as Zero Paints is not available for all of you and I figured uh, I should let you see the stuff that could also be used for this just as well. So after painting it silver I took out some clear yellow and then lightly misted the top of the exhaust tips and I will uh, highlight some spots on the exhaust, uh, exhaust pipes as well later on. Um, now the shaking is because there is a very very small amount of paint coming out and that is done on purpose so that I can hit the spots I want to hit and uh, later on you will see the shaking a lot more but don't worry it's uh, intentional. exhaust tips I was just highlighting the edges and on the exhaust pipes I am highlighting the bends and the welds as I think in real life these get a lot more heat or uh, just discolor a lot easier so I'm highlighting these and uh, later on I will go over those with the other colors as well but you'll see that. clear yellow is now on and it was time to move on to the clear orange. Now the clear yellow is the outside border which uh, is the least hot spot on the exhaust and then the orange uh, gets a bit hotter and later on I will use some red and blue uh, to the areas that get even hotter and discolor even more. So um, I'm not going over all the yellow just a little bit and uh, making sure not to cover it completely with the orange. Now that the orange was on, it was time to move on to the red and get even closer to the edges. Up until now it looks kind of weird, but the blue is going to change everything 
look really closely to see the colors change uh, to a bit of a purple look and this is also the final result and just to show you guys how little paint actually comes out just take a look at my glove here this is what I am working with and this is what I feel safe using as I'm working in some small and tight areas I certainly don't want big spots of paint coming out so I'm just letting the tiniest amount through Now that the blue is all done, it was time to pull off the tape and show you guys the final result. Now just so you know, this is the first time I ever did this, so um, that just shows how easy it is and uh, if I can do it, you can do it. Have a little faith in yourself and just go out there, have some fun and try it out. And also another note, I am using the same air pressure as I always do, uh, 35 psi or 2 of 5 bar with a meter long air hose and uh, the only difference now is the amount of paint I am letting through which is about 5% uh, of what normally goes through. Make sure to check out C1 Models on their Facebook page and the Scale Modeler for some of the products used in this video and a lot of other cool stuff for scale model car builders. Check us out on Facebook, questions or suggestions, shoot us an email or post a comment. And as always, thanks for watching, see you guys next time.